Hey everyone, just doing an update on the PS2 Slim Raspberry Pi case mod build. This is part three. So as you can see, it's uh, looking a little different. There's uh, this circuitry attached to the the, the controller port uh, motherboard area. That is the USB to PS2 controller uh, I don't know, motherboard, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it came in this clear plastic case, and these were, you know, this was attached. So I took all that off, cut the cable off, just pretty much used this board for its electrical magic circuitry inside, and I ran some wires to the actual existing PS2 controller ports, and that's what we got. Um, this is actually like my first time ever soldering, so the fact that it works, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> um, I think I, I mean, I'm sure there's people out there like rolling their eyes or whatever, but I think it's not too bad. I mean, it works. So, um, yeah, uh, I use a old USB from an old Samsung phone because uh, it is shielded a lot better than this one was that and I accidentally cut it so um, I accidentally cut it too deep when I was trying to strip it <laughs> but um, right at the actual USB so that was my dumb fault but oh well I have USBs uh, all over the house like that are you know this one was actually messed up so anyways so there's that it works I'm pretty happy with it um, yeah so that was my biggest thing that I've done since uh, the last video um, but Along with the USB to PS2 controller adapter, I got a uh, HDMI extender, which I've fitted in the old AV component out slot. So once I figure out how I'm gonna uh, run it, I'm gonna I'll put it right where it went. It's kind of long and it's really thick and it's really like hard to maneuver. So I don't know, um, but we'll see. That's gonna be a, a that's gonna be a bear to get. And then here is the four pole TRRS uh, jack three. I think it's three point five millimeter um, jack, and that is now in the old digital out port. Um, still not glued in there yet, but it does fit actually pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm not even gonna take it out because it's in there pretty good. So yeah, so. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. It'll look all right. Pretty happy with that. I couldn't save the door. You can't really use the door, you know, because this, this thing won't or, you know, fit in there good. So <laughs> this is the barrel jack I'm going to use. Um, I severely messed up this little yellow uh, part that goes back here right here. Um, this plastic is a lot more brittle than this other plastic. Pretty much all the other plastic in the whole case the other plastic kind of takes beating, like, you know, it's kind of softer, it cuts real easily. This stuff, it just breaks apart, it falls apart. I tried to, I had to drill uh, the little hole bigger, and it just crumbled. Um, as you can see, it's broken right here, and it just looks really bad. Uh, so, and this is about the best I can salvage, um, but... Yeah, <laughs> not my proudest work. Um, I'll try to zhuzh it up a little bit uh, towards the end, but that's what we got so far. So, and then um, I also successfully managed to get the power button to actually work with the Raspberry Pi. I had a breadboard I set up, and I um, I got some wires and managed to kind of hold them in place while I pressed the button, and it actually turned off the Pi and turned it on, so I was really happy with that. Um, I also um, touched some wires to the, the LED um, pins or whatever, so and they lit up. So yeah, we're looking pretty good. The only thing I haven't tried is the IR port, because that takes three, there's three uh, pins that need to be connected to it to work, and um, you know, I'm still trying to figure it out. I don't know if I'm going to um, solder small wires directly to this board here 
to these little pins there or if I'm gonna try to use this ribbon cable that it sticks into but like these little connections are really small and weak so I don't know uh, I'll figure it out but yeah I think that's about it um, I'm just chugging along just uh, getting some work little couple uh, hours of work done every day that I can and yeah pretty soon we'll be done um, I don't know a time frame or anything but yeah this is what it is I'd like to um, also thank uh, everyone that's helped me on the forums um, helping me with like figure out the wiring and stuff and everything it was really great so can't thank everybody enough um, yeah but uh, I think that's about it for the update um, I feel like I did a lot more work than I showed off but that's it <laughs> Um, thanks everyone for checking it out and I'll, uh, see you guys soon. Bye.